Hello students, in this video we are going to see that what is Urbeck energy and how it can be calculated. So basically in semiconductor materials or, or semiconductor oxide materials, we have a thing which is called as band gap. A band gap is actually the difference of energy between the conduction band and this balance band. Now this uh, band gap which is represented by this EG, it can be changed or modulated by topping or by incorporation of another metal into the material, into the pure material. So what happens uh, due to this topping, the band gap that is the difference of energy between conduction band and valence band, it can be changed and it can be decreased according to our application. So what does the doping do? It does two things. The first thing is that it creates the subband states of dopant material. And secondly, it creates the defects states in the material. Now, Because of these defect states, a defect tail is created below the conduction band and above the balance band of the material. Thus what happens is that the actual band gap decreases and it is reduced to a new band gap which is represented by EG dash. So these tail like structures these are actually called as the Urbeck tails that are created because of the defects in the material caused by doping of the material. And uh, the energy which is related to this Urbeck tail is called as the Urbeck energy and it definitely tells us about the defects which are present in the material. So how we can calculate this Orbeck energy and it, how, how it can be related to the doping in the material. So basically it is it is it can be calculated by using this formula where ln of alpha is equal to ln of alpha naught plus E divided by EU. Here you can see we have plotted ln of alpha on the y-axis and the energy in electron volt on the x-axis and if we have this kind of graph we can calculate from the slope the value of the Urbeck energy. Now the problem is that how can we get the value of ln of alpha and the value of the energy. So this data is actually a, obtained from the electronic absorption spectrum of the material of the semiconductor oxide material. So let's suppose we have this uh, spectrum of a material of some semiconductor oxide. Uh, this is the electronic absorption spectrum. So we have absorbance on the y-axis and we have wavelength in nanometer on the x-axis. And as I have uh, already told you in another video that we can uh, use this uh, data to find out the band gap of the material. If we plot the alpha h nu hot scale versus the energy in electron volt on the x-axis, we get a plot like this. These values are again energy and alpha h nu hot scale are obtained from the data of the absorbance and wavelength. And how we can calculate them? You can see another video uploaded by me regarding this. So we can get the band gap of the material and here I can see that the band gap of material is about 3.9 electron volt. So uh, the first thing is that we should know the band gap of the material of the uh, material for which uh, we can calculate the Urbeck energy. Now we have the band gap of material. What we do we can plot the ln of alpha which is actually obtained by taking the ln of the absorbance values which can be obtained by taking these uh, ln of these absorbance values and this energy in electron volt it can be obtained from this wavelength this wavelength can be converted into energy by a simple relation which can you can find out in, a, in my another video that I have uploaded if you plot this data of ln of alpha versus energy you will get a plot like this and from this you can calculate the orbit energy of the material so what you have to do, you just have to look that you have to find out the slope of this straight line, but it should be below the band gap of the material. So as you have already uh, found that the band gap of material is 3.9 electron volt. So for calculating the opaque energy, you should calculate the slope of this straight line. 
and the inverse of this slope will give you the value of the urbic energy. As I have already shown you this equation that here the slope is actually equal to 1 by EU that is, uh, is inverse of the slope can give you the value of urbic energy. So that's how you will transform the data of electronic absorption spectroscopy into uh, this urbic energy uh, graph where you can calculate the urbic energy and relate it to the defects of the material and with the doping percentage of the material.